So what are the keys to interpreting this study? Let's look at the inflow artery waveform and velocity first, and you will see the abnormal waveform in the mid-SFA, which immediately gives you an indication that downstream there is likely an obstruction. The next image is of the stent attachment. Notice the 2D image appears normal, nothing to be concerned about so far. We get to the next image here, we see the color image essentially gives us the reason for concern, the reason for the waveform we obtained in the inflow artery. Take a look here at the narrowing and aliasing in this area. Remember, if a moderate or to severe stenosis is present downstream, the proximal waveform will be monophasic, like we saw in the inflow artery. Next we add power Doppler to further demonstrate the narrowing we see just after the proximal stent attachment. You can see here that this is likely greater than a 50% diameter reduction. In the 2D image you can see some hyperplasia, some intimal thickening in this area which is where the color showed the most narrowing and the Doppler here we see the proximal proximal to the narrowing would be 48 centimeters per second and then it jumps to 473 centimeters per second the sonographer continues to take images and you can see the dramatic increase in this uh, where they've captured the spectral Doppler pre-stenosis and max site where we have 80 to 481 and another image of 531 so you can see that that's more than a quadrupling of the velocity in this segment. Now we've continued on we move further downstream the velocity is now 60, 61 centimeters per second so you can see that that decreases from the 531 and drops back to 60 that is a significant stenosis as we move continue to move through the stent we'll see no further areas of a significant stenosis until we get to the distal stent attachment and again you have laminar flow here and an increase, the velocities, the blood cells have increased here, showing aliasing, indicating an increase in velocity. Turbulence and the narrowing shown with power Doppler. And again, the pre velocity increase and max site. So we have uh, basically 40 centimeters per second to an increase of 179 centimeters per second. So we continue on. It's taking several more velocities. They went back to the mid stent distal SFA. I'm just showing the abnormal waveforms here. This blunted monophasic waveform. So the conclusion is that we have two severely abnormal areas where the velocities greatly increase from the previous segment and this per person will likely go through a re-intervention to hopefully correct these two areas.